You're watching Real Crime, live as it happens. Keep your eye on this woman. That's a loaded pistol she's packing in her panties and she's about to fire. A man punches her partner out just as her target hits the gas. Detroit police have a front row seat as a high definition camera captures this terrifying scene frame by frame. Crystal clear image. No mistaking who it was. You could see the detail in her tattoo. You could see the weapon. You could, you could see the violent crime she perpetrated. No mistaking. It's called Project Greenlight, and it's the high-tech crime-fighting tool police are using to protect businesses in Detroit's most dangerous areas. Is this one of the places where we've had some loitering? Um, yes, this is the, narco this is the, the, the narco checking. It's the brainchild of Police Chief James Craig. Real-time crime is just that, crime in real time, being able to respond to crime as it's happening. Store owners like Sam Osmond shell out about 6,000 bucks for high definition cameras that stream live video back to a real time crime center at police headquarters. It's a great to have the green lights and the great camera for outside and you don't have to worry about it as police have been watching 24 seven. Police can then virtually patrol the area by monitoring the live feeds and alert officers in the field when they spot trouble. We can tell you that's a uh... Dodge Chargers, silver, Michigan plate, individual wearing a security guard uniform, and that's in real time. When businesses turn on that strobing green light, the bad guys know they're being watched. Take a look at what happens when these feuding fellas inside a gas station spot the green light. You could see in the uh, video one pointing up, drawing attention to the partner with green light, and criminals are going to think twice because there'll be no hiding from the cameras. It's this Project Greenlight live stream at a gas station on the west side that's rocked the city with controversy. Here you see David Todd Jr. park his green Pontiac Grand Prix while he waits for his oldest brother, Devon, who's inside the gas station. It appears David and this young woman exchange a few words and she's clearly not happy. The woman reaches into the blue car. Now, stop the tape. That's a gun she's shoving under her skirt. David's brother, Devon, sees the commotion and runs out of the store. Then fists and bullets fly. You can see Devon cold cock the man. When he hits the ground, David hits the gas and runs over him. The woman fires multiple times into the passenger side window, hitting David in the arm and leg. Then Devon steps in to save his brother, tackles her and wrestles the gun away. He tried to stop and she fires into the vehicle. Clarity. Because the shooting happens in view of Project Greenlight cameras, cops immediately tap into the video stream and blast this screenshot of the woman to the local media. Once we put an image out, that's when our phones start ringing. Cops arrest Shamika Burton and hit her with multiple charges, including assault with intent to murder. Two hours, she was in custody. David Todd Sr. is still recovering at home from those gunshots. I think my brother's a hero because he saved my life, which I could have been killed that night. I'm still here today. The Detroit Police Department cleared Devon of any wrongdoing, but some in law enforcement say this Project Greenlight video tells a whole different story. And now where is he? In prison. That's right. Devon Todd, the man who saved his brother's life, is sitting behind bars for violating his parole. Six years earlier, Devon was convicted of armed robbery. He was the parole officer who actually had him arrested. He was charged for possession of a handgun. He didn't possess a handgun. He took a handgun from a, somebody who was trying to kill him. They charged him with transporting a weapon. He was taking his brother to the hospital, throwing the weapon right back to the police. They charged him with the bullets and the gun. I mean, he didn't bring no gun to the situation. He resolved the situation without hurting nobody. Made sure there's a gun off the streets, it's a murderer off the streets, a potential murderer off the streets. Um, all that while saving his brother's life. It's right here where the video ends that the controversy begins. Police have not released the entire video, but David says after Devon wrestled the gun away from Shamika, his brother fired a shot over her car to scare her off. He pointed at him, but not directly at him. He pointed like far, far as in the air, just to make it seem like he was scared to David and Devon claim it was for their own protection but the Michigan Department of Corrections sees it this way. 
Once the parolee took the gun away, he took the gun and he began shooting at the car full of people. Shamika Burton got back in the car and he began to fire at the passengers in the vehicle. While Project Greenlight surely helped get a potential killer off the street, those very same cameras may also send Devon Todd back to prison for 10 years, even though Detroit police have cleared him. Certainly, he looks like a hero because he tried to disarm the woman who was firing into the car. But the bottom line is, if you're a parolee, you can't engage in criminal activity. Uh, but the issue is, we were able to solve that crime because of the Green Light Program.